viewers welcome to our freeze concept tv headline how to solve a problem like biafra 50 years after nigerians then eastern region de declared itself the republic of biafra sparking a brutal and costly three-year civil war the country again faces a separatist challenge across the evil southeast there is restrange agitation for an independent view of biafran state but the moment the Buhari forcefully responds to the agitation has been counterproductive, um, inflammating passion and boosting separatist um, sentiment. The government needs to change course and priorities dialogue over um, caution. The starting point of any response is to understand the agitation route. They include political and economic um, grievance, a deep sense of co um, collective vi um, victimization among the Igbo, and the failure of Southeast polit um, politicians to provide good governance and development. The root of agitation. Separatists contend that since the Biafran War, the Igbo, one of the country's three major ethnic groups, have been marginalized. They note that no Igbo has been elected to lead the country since Namdi. Ka Namdi. As the key West, um, ceremonial presidency in the 1960s, or to, the, to be the vice president since Alice Ikueme um, since 1979 to 1983. The, these these um, presented even under military rule. The only Igbo head of state in the period was Major General Johnson Aguyi, um, Aguyi Irosi, who was killed after only seven months. Administrative structure decree by Northern lead military government has also undermined the region. Of the country's six um, geopolitical zones, all but the southeast content, contain either six or seven states. The southeast has just five, while it occurs for only 96 of states of Nigerian, seven and 74 local government rep representation in government, and the flow of federal resources and based on these administrative units. Today, the southeast, like much of the country's suffered deficiency and um, depleted infrastructure and widespread youth unemployment but many believe that this is many believe that this structural they point out that as federal revenue allocation is based on number of states and local government the southeast receives least of all zone under Buhari, political grievances have been deepened with no Igbo heading any of the military and security service. Many argue the region has no voice in any key organization, such as the National Defense Council, NDC. We are like second-class citizens of the same state as a colonized people, except that this is the internal colonization, capitalist and colonialism, asserted a retired Igbo military officer. The situation has also been aggrieved by Buhari statesmen shortly after coming to power that constituency that gave me 97% cannot in all honesty be treated on the same issue with constituency that gave me 5%. After Nigerians then eastern region that declared itself the Republic of Biafra sparking a brutal and costly three-year civil war. The country again faces a separatist challenge across the evil southeast. There is restrange agitation for an independent view of Biafran state. But the moment the Buhari forcefully responds to the agitation has been counterproductive, um, inflammating passion and boosting separatist um, sentiment. The government needs to change course and priorities dialogue over um, caution. The starting point of any response is to understand the agitation route. They include political and economic um, grievance, a deep sense of co um, collective vi um, victimization among the Igbo, and the failure of Southeast polit um, politicians to provide good governance and development. The root of agitation. Separatists contend that since the Biafran War, the Igbo, one of the country's three major ethnic groups, have been marginalized. They note that no Igbo has been elected to lead the country since Namdi, Ka Namdi Aziki West um, ceremonial presidency in the 1960s or to, the, to be the vice president since Alice Ikueme um, since 1979 to 1983. 
the these these um, presented even under military rule the only Igbo head of state in the period was major general johnson aguyi um aguyi irosi was killed after only seven months administrative structure decree by northern lead military government has also undermined the region of the country's six um, geopolitical zone all but the southeast content contain either six or seven states the southeast has just five while it occurred for only 96 of state of nigerian 774 local government rep representation in government and the flow of federal resources and based on these administrative units today the southeast like much of the countries suffered deficiency and um, depleted infrastructure and widespread youth unemployment but many believe that this is many believe that this structural they point out that as federal revenue allocation is based on number of states and local government the southeast receives least of all zone under buari political grievances have been deepened with no Igbo heading any of the military and security service, many argue the region has no voice in any key organization such as the National Defense Council (NDC). We are like second-class citizens of the same state as a colonized people, except that this is an internal colonization, capitalist um, colonialism, asserted a retired Igbo military officer. The situation has also been aggrieved by Buhari statement shortly after coming to power that constituency that gave me 97% cannot in all honesty be treated on the same issue with constituency that gave me 5%. Alright viewers, you have listened to today's news. This is actually, they were actually trying to share the history of um, Biafra. Um, why Biafra? And they are agitating for Biafra. And they said that since after Agui Rossi um, took over power then in the 90s, till then, till now, no Igbo person has been given power. And that's any Igbo, Igbo man be make, may made a vice president and made another, and that, neither has any Igbo man be given a very vital office. And it's as if the Igbos are second citizens and it's making them feel bad. So that's why they are agitating for Biafra, and I feel like, um, just like I've been saying, if 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 um, Tunumbu can call roundtable discussion between him and Namdi can at least he gets to know why they are agitating and they try to solve the problem and sort it out. I feel that will really help to bring back peace and unity back into the country. If not, they will still keep on dragging, and the Igbos are feeling like they are being cheated. You need to sit down and have this conversation and um, Tunumbu explain things to them and they sort it out. Alright viewers, we have come to the end of today's news. Please do well about the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.